bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. My guest today is Sandra Sahi. Uh, it's wonderful to have you here with us. Hi, thanks for having me. Super happy to be here. <laughs> now, I would say you're the ultimate Dubai triple threat. Yes. Influencer, <laughs> yeah. YouTuber and singer. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to know, if we were living in a gaming universe, what yeah. would be your secret weapon? Now, this is an addition to your obvious talents. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, my secret weapon, if I would do something else, like... On top of all of that. I don't know, would it be? (laughs) It sounds Mm. so shocking, like a magic mic. Uh, Uh, I'd love to have a magic mic, actually. Yeah, a magic mic, like secret weapon that could possibly fix all the outs that I sing when I'm sick or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there is a Mac like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I hope there is one because we need it. It's called dubbing. Yeah. Now, you were raised, you lived in Belgium for yes. 12 years before moving here to yeah, Dubai. that's right. And you literally just graduated high school. Congratulations. I did. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. You know, like, it's, it's been such a... A, a huge like it's it's been long years and I just wanted to get it over with and finally I'm here and you know like for someone who has dreams and ambitions and doesn't really like school to be honest like me just wanted to finish it and graduate and then now it's all over I can do mostly whatever I want now it's a massive so, yeah. master yeah and of just course no more study no more text exactly no more exams oh my god oh, <laughs> it feels good I bet I bet feels good did you celebrate yeah, of course. of course. Many times, actually. Not once only. Oh, before yeah, it yeah, even yeah. finished. I mean, and before it even <laughs> finished, that's the thing. We had our graduation before the actual exam. So, like, we had the big party before the exam. So oh, that is so risky. Yeah, it is risky. Because imagine, like, if you don't pass, but then there's there's a screwed system. Like, that's how they do it, you know? Yeah, you go so into you just, it. you just celebrate before to not get any distractions of, like, oh, wait, we have exams, and then now we have to graduate. I couldn't no, do you that. graduate first and then you have your exam. I would, my mind would already be in party <laughs> mode. Yeah, 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 no, it's it's insane. Yeah, it was <laughs> hectic. It was really tough. <laughs> and so, well, so how did you manage studying for exams and also recording your first ever single? Yeah, it was it was it wasn't that um, that easy to be honest because like you 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 always I always have to um, I'm always in between both worlds trying to manage like school which is really important at my age. I mean, school. I mean, everyone has to focus at, at school on school. For, I mean. So the thing is, um, I was trying to like, I go back home from school and I try to do my homework or study for the exams and then nighttime would be like my free time to do music or, you know, try to focus on the, the other things, the fun part of it, you know. So can you tell us about Coconut? Love yeah, that name. Thanks. Um, Coconut was a song that um, that I wrote, like it's about this fresh summer young love, you know, it's about we wanted to make it um, people's summer jam. And uh, it, I mean, it works. People like it. So I'm really happy. And the process of, of, of making the song was also really fun. Really, really fun. And the music video, it is yeah. so dreamy. In fact, it just made me want my ho- holidays Thanks. to hurry up. Yeah. Where, where did you film it? It was in Banan Beach right here in Jebel Ali. Like, I love I love how we actually shot it like locally, regionally. Like, Dubai has beautiful places. I was so... So why travel when you have places like these? Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. I was actually really hopeful you were going to say that because now yeah. I can just go there and pretend I'm escaping exactly. on this Exactly. And you can just take Instagram pictures and be like, hey, <laughs> look where I am. Yeah, that swing in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, oh, it was beautiful. That was, I think, no, I think truly that was one of the most beautiful like beaches I've ever seen um, in Dubai, like around the country. So I think if that were me re- filming a video clip, they would yeah. be like, oh no, I'm just going to play in Frolic in the Sea. Come back <laughs> later. <laughs> this, Basically. This swing is too much fun. Exactly. We are live on Instagram, Dance FM UAE. Go check us out. I'll be right back with Sandra Sahi. Beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. I'm back with Sandra Sahi and it was just a few weeks back that your big brother Loi was here with me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now I promise he only said nice things about you. Oh, I hope so. Because usually that's not how it happens at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's all, it's all pretend, is it? No, I know it's true. <laughs> no, it's fine. But you know what he didn't tell me? He said yeah. that he's also, well, he didn't tell me this, but he's also a beauty vlogger. Yeah. This is yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of, kind of. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I watched the episode where you challenged him to do your makeup. Yes. Uh, that oh was really God. brave of you. That was that was actually really well. <laughs> he's he has talent, you know. What? Let me tell you, like he's he knows how to apply stuff on my face. 
Which is a good thing, which is a good start. I mean, as a guy, like, you know how to put foundation and stuff, which is good, right? No, I agree. In fact, yeah. I, the end result, I was pretty impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't do that bad of a job. No, he, do he seemed to have a little struggle at the beginning. I couldn't yeah. translate the Arabic, but yeah. I think he couldn't figure out which product was the foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he struggled <laughs> a lot, like a lot. It took me a lot of time to explain to him, okay, like to give him clues, you know? But he still managed to do it, which I'm, I'm really proud of him for that. No, oh, we need yeah. him in here to do another demo. <laughs> so what did you end up ranking him out of 10 for that effort? Out of 10, like like for the effort in general, like for even having the patience to do it, I'll, I'd give it like a, like a 9, you know, like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. But for like for the face, I'd give it like a, like a 6. Oh, that's you not know? bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. You can do better. But what happened with the false eyelashes? Did oh he get my. a little oh <laughs> god! I started glory. crying when he applied them wrong. Like, this is how bad it was. Oh, gosh. Lashes are always, like, the hardest part. Like, you have to really be careful with them, obviously. And if you don't stick them right, it's going to be like, you're going to be start- starting to cry and everything. Well, glue it's in your eyeball. It's yeah. not a nice sensation. Yeah, no, that's not really a nice <laughs> sensation, to be honest with you. <laughs> So then I saw the episode of you on his channel, yep. on his cooking show. Yeah. And I'm wondering now, was that revenge for the <laughs> makeup? <laughs> well, um, it's a revenge for everything, <laughs> for all the fights that happened, not just for, for this. No, but um, no, the cooking, sh- the cooking show was actually really nice. We had so much fun filming it. And he told me that uh, he can cook. Now, yeah. you can tell me whether this is true or not. Look, I'm not one to talk because I don't even cook, to be honest with you. But no, but he's he's actually good. Like when he wants it, he puts effort in it. He's actually really good. I think I need so, to yeah. do more of the sibling interview setup. You have to. That would be nice. Well, then we get both sides yeah, of the story. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. We can see who's lying and who's telling the truth. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm telling the truth right now. <laughs> now, you're just 18 years old. Yep. You've already got over 500,000 followers on yes. Instagram, a YouTube channel with more than 15 million views. Yeah. And now school's out forever. So what are your yeah. Big plans for the future. My big plans. I mean, I mean, I mean, school's out there. That's for sure. I'm out of school. Bye bye. <laughs> no more school for me. But um, there's still university, which I'm planning on staying here for university. It's only three years. I'm gonna study, you know, advertising, marketing, probably. Okay. Yep. Um, just like Loie, actually, like that's what he studied as well. We we love. We're we're very like creative and artistic family when it comes to, you know, just uh, creating stuff, coming coming up with ideas and and being very creative. Once again, as I said. So this is what I want to do. And after that, like after these three years um, that will hopefully pass by really quick. They will, they will. I hope. <laughs> um, big, big plans and, and big, um, big ambitions and dreams when it ter- like in terms of music, when it comes to music. Oh, wow. So Exciting hope, time. Yeah. I mean, I just, it's just the beginning because I just released my first single, right? So once you, once you, once you do that, there's no going back. There's, you have to be, you know, um, constant and just release and release and work hard on your music. So that's what I'm planning to do, honestly. But your timing's yeah. impeccable because as you yeah. say now, you don't have the pressure, the burden of school. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. really focus on uh, the what summer, you want summer to Summer for me is going to be fun and music. This is, this is how I like it to be. All the summers. Like, it's, it's like this every time. And when I, when I want to just work on a song, I just do it. And you've so, got yeah. a really ideal family setup because you yeah. guys are all involved in. Well, yeah, Loie's yeah, got yeah. the production company. Yeah, yeah. And I think your other brothers are videographers. Yeah, videographer. my my yeah. There's also we have the producer in uh, in the Netherlands. Actually, we work by distance. Like he's not even here. His name is Raffel, and then we're he's in Amsterdam, and we we do the music actually like together. Like he does the music, he sends it to me. I record, boom. We have the song. Whoa, watch so, this yeah. face. Yeah, 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 yeah. More <laughs> to come. Thank you so much, Tanja. Thank you so much. for joining me. Thank you so much. You okay. can catch our full interview on dancefm.com. I'm in Van Helden. Special request for Safe in the House. This is Funk Phenomena on Dance FM.